The Palitana temples of Jainism are located on Shitran Jara by the city of Palitana in Bhavnagar district, Gujarat, India. The city of the same name, known previously as Padliptapa, has been nicknamed City of Temples. Along with Shikharji in the state of Jharkhand, the two sites are considered the holiest of all pilgrimage places by the Jain community. As the temple city was built to be an abode for the divine, no one is allowed to stay overnight, including the priests. Every Jain believes that a visit to this group of temples is essential as a once-in-a-lifetime chance to achieve nirvana or salvation. This site on Shitran Jara Hill is considered sacred by Jains and have hundreds of temples. There are approximately 863 marble-carved temples on the hills. The main temple is reached by stepping up 3,500 steps. It is said that 23 Tirthankaras, except Nemanatha, sanctified the hill by their visits. The main temple is dedicated to Rishabha, the first Tirthankara. It is the holiest shrine for the Svitambramurti Pujaka sect. Digamba Jain have only one temple here. Etymology Jain temples are called as Dhrasras. Shitran Jara means a place of victory against inner enemies, or, which conquers inner enemies. There are 108 names of Shitran Jara but only some of them are in common use. Geography The Gulf of Kambay is to the south of the Shitran Jara hills, and Palavanagar town is to the north of the hills with the Shitranji river flowing in between. Palitana, a city in the Bhavnagar district of Gujarat, is two kilometers away. The Palitana temples are situated at the twin summits in the saddle linking them. The temple complex is located 56 kilometers southwest of Bhavnagar, a major pilgrimage center for Jains. The summit is situated at an elevation of 7,288 feet. Reaching it involves climbing over 3,750 stone steps. However, during the monsoon season the temples are closed for devotees. Paths It takes approximately two hours to make the 3.5 km climb. There are multiple routes. The shortest one goes around the outer walls of the temples on the hilltop and passes Angapa, the shrine of a Muslim saint who is reported to have protected the temples during Muslim invasions. A second route goes around the foot of the mountain. A large number of pilgrims take part in a third route in the month of Falguna, which passes five sacred temple sites over a distance of 45 kilometers. Elderly pilgrims who cannot climb the stairs are carried on a dolly carried by porters and charged based on the pilgrims' weight. Grounds, from the top of Shitranja are views of the Gulf of Kambay and the rugged, drought-affected landscape. The narrow streets or lanes in the temple complex are similar to the ones found in the medieval cities of Europe. The high walls surrounding the temples give the appearance of a fort. Important features include the Ashok tree, the Chaitra tree, Jaitaliti, four-mouthed idol of Bhagawan Mahava, Hingrajambukadevi, Kumapal, Vimalsha and Samprati. History According to Jain Universal History, the first Tirthankara Rishabh has sanctified the hill where he delivered his first sermon. It was his grandson Pandarika, grandson of Rishabha who received salvation at Shitranje, hence the hill was originally known as Pandarikjuri. Bharata, the father of Pandarik and half-brother of Bahabali, also came to Shitranje many times. He is also credited with building a temple here. The Palitana temples were built over a period of 900 years starting in the 11th century. They were destroyed by Turkish Muslims invaders in 1311 AD, when the Saint Jina Prabhajari, who was then 50 years old, presided over the temples. Two years later, the rebuilding began. While some temple building activity took place under Samara Shah, it was only two centuries later that it picked up momentum, when in 1593, Hirai Vijayasari organized a major pilgrimage to this location to attend the consecration ceremony of the temple built for Rishabha by Tejpal Soni, a merchant. Following this, there was proliferation of temples here. The most important temples are those of Adinath, Kumapal, Samprati Raja, Vimal Shah, Sahas Rakita, Ashtapada and Chormak. Some of them are named after the wealthy patrons who paid for the construction most of them which are now present date to the 16th century. In 1656, 
Shah Jin's son Murad Baksh granted Palatana villages to the prominent Jain merchant Shain Tadashavari, a Svitambara Jain, in 1656, and subsequently when all taxes were also exempted that the temple town further prospered. It was brought under the control of the Ananji Kalyanji Trust in 1730 to manage not only Palatana temples but also many other temples of Svitambara Jains, since the Mughal period. It is said that sculptors' skills and capacity to carve with abrasive cords the intricate designs was paid on the basis of the marble dust that they had collected every evening after their hard labor. Kumapal Solanki, a great Jain patron, probably built the earliest temples. History also makes a mention that Lunia Seth Tilokshand, a merchant from Ajmer, led a very large contingent of pilgrims to the Shitranjar temples when he heard that there were some disturbances at the Angarshapa on the hills. But he continued his pilgrimage and pleased the Pur by his offerings. This tradition is followed to this day by his descendants by offering an expensive cloth to cover the dome of the shrine. Many of these temples are kept in a Euro or a Minta Euro condition with large donations provided by the rich Jain merchant community. Palatana was a princely state of India till it merged with India after independence in August 1947. It was the capital of the kingdom of Rajapla and Gohal Rajput clan. Religious practices. It is inferred that the temples are built in clusters known as tanks, as Jains undertake pilgrimage mostly on foot and hence they would like to reduce the distance of travel on foot to the minimum. As a religious practice they cover their mouth while offering puja to the Tirthankaras at the temples so that they don't hurt any insects by swallowing them with an open mouth. Also, for this reason they do not offer open lighted lamps but offer arti with covered lanterns. The religious practice also involves pilgrimage by fasting throughout the journey to and from the shrines. They also build their temples in white marble to demonstrate purity. Silence and prayers are the order of the day when one is climbing up the hills on pilgrimage. Fasting continues until they have returned to the auditorium of Ananji Kalyanji Trust at the foothill. Eating any food items when on the mountain, Jiri Raj, is considered to be a sin. Renovations There have been frequent renovations and many of them are dated to the 16th century. New temples continue to be built here. Renovations occurred at least 16 times during the Avasarpanikala, it is believed that Vimalvahan shall do the 17th renovation during the period of Dupazasuri in future. Architecture and fittings the Palatana temples are considered to be the most sacred Tirtha by the Jain community. There are hundreds of temples, with estimates ranging between 863 and 1008. They are arranged in systematic groupings with variation in height and space. The buildings are carved in marble and are considered to be prayers in stone. They are grouped in nine separate wings or tucks, each wing having a separate central shrine or temple with minor shrines surrounding it. They have the unique features of the Chormak Temple which is stated to be their creative preoccupation for large halls for holding discourses. This was prompted by their first Hirtha Nakera Euro unregistered trademark S discourse. It is an ensemble involving four-sided buildings with doors so that images would be visible from all four sides or directions. The four sides are called the Katabimba, which is considered auspicious from all directions. Their religious texts also are oriented towards building cities of temples like Palatana and Ranakpur, a particular feature in Jainism. The larger temples have considerable marble halls with columns and towers, and plenty of openings, unlike Hindu temples. They are situated in separate enclosures, surrounded by high fortified walls. Many of the temples are very small buildings only about three square feet, with Jain emblems, and sacred to Mahavira. The marble floors have tessellated patterns. The interiors are intricately carved, with carved ceilings with geometrical lace designs, clustered together to form a canopy. The Adinath Temple, which venerates Rishabha, is the main temple in the complex and is the grandest. It has ornate architectural motifs, though in its overall plan, it is simpler than the Chormak Temple. The jewelry collection of this temple is large which can be seen with special permission from the Ananji Kalyanji Trust. The prayer halls of this temple is decorated with ornamental friezes of dragons. 
there are stairs from the quadrangle surrounding the temple which lead to a balcony from where one gets a scenic view of the temple complex. There are a series of domes with high spires, 12 45 pictures, 21 images of brightly colored lions, 4 yojnis, 10 dikpals, 72 dev kulikas, 32 dolls, and 32 taranas. There are three pradakshina routes, followed in a clockwise direction, which are associated with this temple. The first is circular and includes the Sahasrakita temple, the foot idols under the rayon tree, the temple of idols of feet of Ganadhar, and the temple of Simantor Swami. The second passage passes the new Pagor and Adishwar temple, Mount Miru, the temple of Samavasar and temple, and Samit Shaika temple. The third passage passes the Ashtapada temple, the Chormak temple. The Adishwar temple, dated to the 16th century, has an ornamented spire. Its main image is that of Rishabha. The Chormak temple, built in 1616, has a four-faced Adinava image deified on a white pedestal, each face turned towards the cardinal directions. Vimal Shah Temple is a square structure with towers. Saraswati Devi Temple, Narsim Kashaji Temple, and the Samavasaran Temple, with 108 life sketches in sculpture, are also notable. A modern temple, Sambhatsarana, was built at the base of the hills of the main temple complex. In the shrines, on a pedestal, are large figures of Mahavira, sitting with feet crossed in front, like those of Buddha, often decorated with gems, gold plates, and silver. The Adinath temple has an image 2.16 meters in height of a white-colored idol in the Padmasana posture. The main iconic image of Adinath, carved in fine piece of marble, has crystal eyes. Devotees offer flowers and sandal paste to the deity as they approach the statue for worship. The quadrangle opposite in front of the temples is elaborately designed. There is another shrine opposite to Adishwara temple where the Hindu Saint Pundrik Swami lived in the 5th century. After visiting Adishwara, a temple similar in design, Dilwara temple, is located to the right of the steps used for descending from the main shrine, which is also very elegantly designed with architectural piece in marble. In this temple, Suparswanatha is carved in the center of a cube-shaped column. Adinatha and Parswanatha adorn the top and bottom of the column. Carvings on the ceiling, floor and the column are very elegantly sculpted. Parswanatha Temple is located in front of this temple. Culture Beliefs Every devout Jain aspires to climb to the top of the mountain at least once in his lifetime because of its sanctity to attain Nirvana. The code for the climbers is stringent in keeping with the rigors of the Jain faith. Food must neither be eaten nor carried on the way. The descent must begin before it is evening, for no soul can remain atop the sacred mountain during the night. The Shitranjara hills are considered by many Jains to be more important than the temple-covered hills of Jharkhand, Mount Abu and Gurna. Festivals, on one special day, which commonly falls in February-March. Thousands of Jain followers visit the temple complex to attain salvation. Three times as many pilgrims come at this time, which is also called Six Gain. The special festival day is the Chha Gau Tirthyatra at the temple complex held on Purnima day of Kartika month according to the Jain calendar, Viran Nirvana Samvat. Jains, in very large numbers assemble on this day at the temple complex on the hills as it opens after four months of closure during the monsoon season. During this pilgrimage, considered a great event in the lifetime of devout Jain, pilgrims circumambulate the Shachunitja hills covering a distance of 21.6 km on foot to offer prayers to Lord Adinatha on the Kartik Puranama day at the top of the hill. Mahavajyanti, the birthday of Mahavara is a notable festival celebrated at the temple complex. A procession carrying images of the Tirthankara is made in huge decorated chariots, concurrently accompanied by religious ceremonies in the temples. Rituals include fasting and giving alms to the poor. References Bibliography, Deshpand, Aruna. India, Divine Destination. Palatana pages 418 a Euro 419. ISBN 81-242-0556-6. Further reading, John E. Court, Framing the Jaina, Narratives of Icons and Idols in Jain History, 
Oxford U Press. ISBN 0-19-538502-0